Hello everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIII. In the last episode, we had our team of Lightning, Saz, and... Uh, who was it? Vanille. And in today's episode, we've got a new team. Hope, Vanille, and Fang. And look, I'm actually not playing as a commander. As crazy as that sounds. I know. Hello, Snow. I keep forgetting you're actually a character in this game because I never play. There's a way through here. And that is all he will contribute to the team. Good job, Snow. You keep pretending you're useful. Because you're not. <laughs> I do like Vinyl's running animation, though. Although, wouldn't your arms get really tired after a while? So what lies beyond these rocks, eh? And I did all my, my item management and everything off screen, so don't worry. This team is probably the best it can possibly be at the moment. Is it the best? Probably not. I don't min-max. Finally a nice change of scenery. Like a great place for enemy ambushes. Let's have a look at the map, if there is even a bit of map. Oh, there is. The Moor of the Abyss, Mahabara. I butchered that name. Sorry. But I know we'd be good to do, just in case this game decides to crash. Let's save. There we go. Better safe than sorry, I always say. Better keep an eye on the shadows. Yes, we should. But we need to practice our training first. So let's see how this team goes, shall we? The reason I want to play Vanille is because Vanille is super dope, honest to god. But she only has three ATV gauges. Like, what? How? And oh my god, this gauge fills up so slowly. I am not used to this at all. Oh my god. I used to think this was fast. Oh good lord. How wrong I have been. We need to get her another rune page. Rune page? An ATV gauge. <laughs> you see why I only like playing as the main ones? Right, now can we kill them all? Hopefully. Whoa! Okay! Hope is a good magic user. Today I learn. Good job, team. And we got zero stars for that, so... Ah, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, the main issue with Nothing Saz at the moment is... Ooh, the Who Declare. That's for you. Staglock. Merely a replica of an ancient weapon that the Scumblade has limited offensive capabilities. Well, that doesn't sound useful. Wow. Yeah, are you saying that? That doesn't upgrade it at all. I presume upgrading it though is definitely a good idea. But yeah, I'll tell you what I am going to do actually. Uh, I'm going to switch the battle team around. And I'm actually going to use Fang as the leader. Mainly because only having free ATB gauges is very slow. I don't like that. I like taking charge and doing some damage first. Look at that! Five gauges! Mm. So much better. And we are destroying these guys now as well. Look at that damage. Hmm. Looking good. Right now, hope do the damage. I know you're so good at being a medic. Well, not medic. Uh, Ravager now. Thank you very much. Good job, everyone. We've gone from zero star to three star. In just one battle. We're improving. The main thing is, these guys are no longer threatening them. Hey, we even got a preemptive. Nice. Get the blitz. Come on, let's get our first five star with the new crew. There we go. That should be a five star. That was the quickest we could possibly ever do it. Nice. 
which way should we go? Let's go the clear wrong way and see what items we get at the end of it. Ooh, these guys are back again. Hello. Explosive balls of explosiveness. And you did. And I was just getting started. That was easy. I Moving up. More explosive all things. It probably is a good idea that we've got Hope as our Sinister because he's very defensive based. Which is definitely a good thing. Ruinga! Keep doing the AoE explosives, please. This could prove to be very bad in the long run. There's a self destruct. Bang, don't die. Please. Thank God I lowered his health just a bit more. Otherwise, I may have died there. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh no. Woo! Yeah, the damage they do is based on the health they have. So the lower their health, the less the self destruct does. So I'm lucky to be alive. Very lucky, actually. I wonder if we're actually going the correct way. I'm going to feel bad. No, we're not. Okay, good. Remember, kids, always go the wrong way in video games. That's how you've got to play every game you play. Unless it's an FPS. In that case, you get kind of punished for going the wrong way. But it's one of the old-fashioned FPSs that do. Go for it. Stop healing each other. Or well, healing yourself, I guess. God damn it. Die. There we go. At least we've taken out one. But now there's two more to deal with. There we go. If this one self-destructs, we'll survive it now. Which is good. Hey, stop it. Ah! Blindside is so satisfying. You just impale it with a stick. Right, come on. That is satisfying as hell. Why do you have to say something bad is about to happen, Hope? Now something bad is going to happen. <sighs> Alright, double blitz into an attack. Let's go. Give us all the buffs you possibly can, please. Oh, that is just so satisfying to deal. Man, blitz is such a cool move. I don't care what anyone says. What other buffs can you give? Protect. That thing is useless. Still dying like two shots to everything. <laughs> Depressing as that is. Hey, 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 hope. Come on now. I don't need a four star, feels bad. My blitzes were gonna off point though, unfortunately. Let's see. Any hidden buttons anywhere? No. There's a cutscene there. Oh, we're gonna fight! Hello! It's our long lost friend from chapter 4. Probably a lot stronger this time around, though. Oh, yeah! Okay! We're all dead already. Let's go to a paradigm shift in which we will actually not die. How about that? Medigard! Good luck getting through that! <laughs> yeah. Metagard, just keep me alive. And you buff us all up so we don't instantly die. Ha! Hardly touched me there, Mr. Juggernaut. I thought you were terrifyingly strong. I guess not. And now we don't take any damage whatsoever, which is nice. Let's go for the kill. Come on, buddy. 
Actually, not what we need to do next. We need to go espionage. Yes, I a paradigm all around debuffing. Because debuffing bosses is kinda key in this chapter. There you go, look at that. Every uh, <laughs> debuff known to man is now on him. You are basically dead now, but I'm afraid to say. But you can see, even with all those debuffs on him, he still isn't taking any damage whatsoever. That's because we need to get a double Ravager comp. Because we really need him. Oh, he's steam cleaning! No! That's going to remove all his debuffs. Ah, oh, you fucker. Come on, man. Don't be like that. No. Why you do this? Oh, God. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Because I've got Renew for just such an occasion. There's a few more buffs we can do on you. There we go. <laughs> Alright, but we're staggering you this time. And even with all these debuffs, this guy is not going down. And he's seen cleaning again. If we can stagger him before this goes through, I'll be happy. But I... Doubt it very highly, unfortunately. Oh, go on, go on. There we go. Good luck steam cleaning while you're flying in the sky, but because it ain't happening. I was thinking of having a team where we have Hope and Saz in the team, so we can just get Synergist done like instantly. However, Vanille's magic damage is required at this point, honestly. Vanille is really good. Hence the reason she only gets three ATB gauges, otherwise she would be broken. So there you go. That's the reason she doesn't get ATB gauges until a lot late in the game. Because otherwise she'd just be too good. I doubt that's going to be a 5 star. I kind of fucked up the beginning of that fight. Oh, okay then. Nice. I'll take it. I did not expect that at all. And what's our reward going to be? Let's have a look, see... A Platinum Bangle! Nice. Hey Hope! Not you, Vanu. I've got a present for you. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, another Platinum Bangle. There you go, bud. Now he's okay. But yeah, the reason you want to go over it is so you can get access to that uh, Seaf Stone over there. However, we, uh, we're not quite ready for that Seaf Stone yet. Because we kind of skipped one. It feels bad. But anyway, I will see you guys back at the entrance to this place. Ah, sweet main progress part. How I've missed you, straight corridor area. <gasps> I never leave me again. Oh no, it's our good friend again. Hello there, arm punching man. Oh boy. This could prove to be annoying, perhaps. Buff us up, please. I need as many of these buffs as possible before he attacks us. And I'd rather kill his little buddies first of all, too. That's it. I hope you're doing well. Please give us some actual defensive buffs, please. Are you the... You're making more? Oh, no. Oh, no. This could be bad. <laughs> Alright, we need to out-damage them. I guess we could farm drops from these guys over again. Issue orders. Nah, don't issue orders. No, don't upgrade. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're upgrading. Oh, no. Look at all the diva. Oh, look at all the buffs. Oh, God. Maybe we should be focusing the big guy. No, I want you to use Ruin Gar. There you go. Don't kill my boy. Oh no. Renew. Okay, we are getting kind of demolished at the moment. Ooh. Well, and the frame rate goes down after you attack, you know it's a good thing. I think, yep, yeah, hope's dead. Kill that one. 
Alright, how big is... Box Talix is not dying. Oh boy. How much health do you even have? Oh, I should have been focusing you from the start. My bad. They're all upgrading. Oh boy. Alright, I have made a key mistake in this battle. I kind of want you to kill me now. Because I'm going to learn from my mistakes. Come on, Box Phalanx. Do your worst. Hurry up and kill me already. Disappointing. And... There you go. Good job. Mainly because I don't want to waste two TP. We could summon. We haven't seen uh, Fang summon yet. In a battle. Same with Saz, actually. Alright, take two. We're going to fight the, the Boxman first, I think. Boxed Phalanx, before you can even buff up your units, I'ma kill your ass. Or at least come as close as I possibly can to killing your ass. Come on, hope that's it. Give us all the upgrades. I guess using a Sentinel in this fight could actually be really useful. I can see why. <laughs> Vanille, you know raise. I'm gonna let you raise up hope at some point. Come on, do you not know raise? Oh my god. No. You don't know raise. Okay. This could be really bad. Well, Box Phalanx is almost dead, so let's just go ahead and finish him off. While you guys have fun with the upgraded guys. There we go. There goes your, your boss. Boss man's dead. Let's go ahead and kill his little friend. Now. Yeah, they're still taking quite a bit of damage, even with two of us. Boom. Boom, boom. There's one. Up light number A, you ready to die, but of course you are. Donk. Bonk. Spink. Bong bong! Oh, no, he cancelled my attack. Feels bad. There we go. Will that be a five star? No. Uh one well, the things I do regret. Not having haste. Not having my ATP gauge fill up. Instantly, even without haste. Oh man, this was a lot slower. But we do need a nice change of characters to really appreciate how good our original team is. A grand pulse fell sea made this path. Yep. I bet it's off digging more tunnels right now. They seem different from all the foul sea we've seen on Cocoon, you know? It's like they just plow through without caring what happens around them. That's true. Then again, we were able to build our village on land cleared by Falci. We lived alongside them, just like you do on Cocoon. Oh yeah, this is just like Cocoon. In a world this big, who knows what we'll find. More enemies. The Mahabara Subterra, Grand Pulse. Yeah boy. Way more enemies to kill as well. Come on, let's New go. merchandise available. Ooh, fashion. Shall we see what we can buy? I know I want to. There's new stuff in every market. We can buy wax now. Yeah, boy. Foul liquid. Main thing is we can buy weapons now as well. I think we've already got all the weapons we need. I've got the Rod of Thorns, got the Bladed Lance, yada yada yada. I mean, we don't need any of these weapons, really. That's just if you miss them. The only one I missed is actually the Ninurta, which you can go and get, I think, back in the Arclight Step, which is quite nice. Anyway, what I am going to do is, in the next episode, we are going to backtrack 
and go and do the rest of those finger magics first before we make any more progress. Because I have a feeling we're not going to come back to the arc -like step for quite a while. So yes, I will go back and get all those Seaf Stones finished. Make some progress, obviously. There is that one dormant one over there, if you can see him. We need to do him too. So yes, guys, in the next episode, we're going to backtrack back to Arclight Step and finish the rest of the Seaf Stones before continuing on the main path. Mainly because we are going to come back for a while. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great day, and until the next episode, goodbye.